And where you all living? Uh, unit one, Flamin. Okay. A mini suite. Yeah, cool. yeah, Every year, the incoming UC Berkeley class looks forward to a move-in day just like this one. That's why prospective students were shocked when the California Supreme Court upheld a lower court's decision to cap UC Berkeley's fall 2022 enrollment levels. But on March 15, 2022, Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill overriding the court order, allowing Berkeley to accept 3,050 more students than the previous school year. Amidst a series of ever-changing legislation, California high schooler and prospective Berkeley student Hithiksha Bunsel is keeping calm in the days before Berkeley's decisions are announced. I'm like kind of neutral. I feel like um, I'm just kind of like, it would be nice to get in, but I'm also like, I have some other options that I got into earlier. It is concerning that the admission cut will affect it. Having lived in California her whole life, Hithiksha understands the decision of the lower court, but empathizes with other applicants whose dream school is UC Berkeley. I felt really bad for a lot of my friends whose dream school was UC Berkeley because they've been like talking about it since like freshman year. I've seen like what the housing situation is like and so I could understand where that decision kind of came from. Fletcher Primus, a high school senior from North Carolina, initially felt upset at the thought of in-state applicants having an advantage, but remains optimistic after Newsom's new bill. So my first thought honestly was like, dang all those in-state kids, because I mean like, it's because it being a public school, like it's such a good opportunity being in state. I did everything I could. And so like, I'm proud of the work that I did. And if that gets me in, awesome. If that doesn't, I'm going to be happy where I end up. But honestly, like hearing about the new bill is also really exciting. It makes it feel more fair in a way to me. But I feel like I am now going to get seen more than I would have. Until decisions are sent out, these two prospective students are still deciding how an in or out of state college could best suit them and their family's needs. I'm pretty set on out of state, but I do think that there is a value in considering in state, especially like UC Berkeley being such a prestigious university and being so affordable that I won't be able to get as much of the affordable side when I do go out of state. If you had asked me when I was a freshman, I would have told you that I didn't want to apply anywhere in state. But as I've gotten older, I now understand that like money is a big factor when it comes to going to school. In state tuition is just so hard to pass up. But I think if I were to get into Berkeley, that'd also be hard to pass up. Like, how do you pass? Like, it's such an amazing opportunity. How do you pass that up? Regardless of the uncertain state of college admissions, college applicants are keeping their hopes up and their options open, waiting for acceptances that will change their lives for the best. I'm just trying to see what the decision is and then react based on the decision rather than kind of think about it right now. I'm excited. I'm excited more than any other feeling for sure. This has been Mariana Garcia reporting for Cal TV News.